With the rise of the video game industry, developers and publishers are way more willing to pour millions and millions of dollars into their projects, and with the expectation that the money will be returned shortly after launch, it's a gamble sometimes. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Chaos here. Have you ever wondered what the actual most expensive video games of all time are? And if you have, today is your day, because that's what we're going to be looking at. The top 10 most expensive video games of all time for this list. We will be ranking the total development and marketing cost with adjusted uh, inflation rates. That's right, we're going deep, at least by 2021 standards. Now, keep in mind, not all development costs are disclosed, so this list is only going to include data that we've gotten straight from the horse's mouth. So don't comment telling us we forgot something because no, we didn't. We are going to go off what we can see. We're not going to make stuff up. So let me know what you think the most expensive game is. Drop a like and we start off at number 10 with Battlefield 4. Now, it's unknown just how much Battlefield 2042 ended up costing EA. We do know for certain how much BF4 cost them, and it was it was a lot. Released in 2014, this was the first next-gen Battlefield game, and EA reportedly cut development short so they could get it on the market to compete with Call of Duty Ghost. Now, if you know your gaming history, which I know most of you do, you probably also know they really could have used a little extra time in the oven because the game launched uh, busted. DICE had to spend weeks fixing everything. Now, granted, it's widely seen as one of the best games in the series today. It did a complete 180, still has a healthy community on PC, especially after the failure of BF 2042. So, how much did EA end up dropping on the project? Well, according to official reports, EA dropped an even $100 million on the project, and when adjusted for inflation, that puts it at about $116 million. To put that into perspective, the budget for the first Deadpool movie was $58 million. Keep that in mind as we go forward on this list. At number nine, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, left field pick, I know. It was the last entry in the series to come out, concluded the Square Enix reboot trilogy. While it was criticized for being less adventurous and more shooty than previous Tomb Raider games, it was praised for its presentation and its breathtaking visuals. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is legitimately one of the best looking games ever made and Square Enix made sure the developers all had the money they needed to make it happen. While the marketing budget for the game was around 35 million, the development cost was reportedly between 75 and 100 million. So adjust that for inflation. Shadow of the Tomb Raider ended up costing Square Enix around 146 million dollars. The game ended up selling close to 9 million units, so I'm pretty sure this one was a good investment. At number eight, these numbers are going to get dumb as we go. GTA 4. I bet you were expecting to see GTA 5 on this list. Well may actually surprise you that GTA 4 was the more expensive project, at least according to the official statements made by the companies involved. Released in 2008, it was the first HD entry in the series. Featured a massive world, lots of detail, two massive expansion packs, expanded upon the story and the universe, everything. Now, it's believed that GTA 5 was actually the more expensive project. We only have true official numbers on GTA 4, and those numbers are pretty staggering. When adjusted for inflation, it's believed that Rockstar dropped a minimum of $126 million on the project. Now, this obviously paid off in spades for them since it's one of the best-selling games of the seventh console generation, but that's an insane amount of money to drop on a video game, and we're still only at number eight. At number seven, Final Fantasy VII. Now, most people have played uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake from a few years ago, but not nearly as many modern gamers have played the original. Released as a PS1 exclusive back in 97, it was not only the biggest game of the year, but it was also one of the most expensive games ever made at that time, and I get it. The game's huge, especially by late 90s standards. According to the HowLongToBeat.com, the original Final Fantasy VII will run you around 50 hours to finish, and back in the PS1 days, that meant it had to have multiple discs, which also drove up the cost of production. The 97 budget for it was estimated to be between 80 and 145 million. Now let's adjust that for inflation. That puts it around 135 to 245 million dollars. Now I'm sure Square was perfectly fine with this since it ended up being one of the most famous video games of all time. At number six, Dead Space 2. Here's a game I was not expecting to see on a list like this, but here it is. The original Dead Space was developed by Visceral Games, probably the most terrifying game of 2008. It was heavily inspired by RE4. The atmosphere took influence from movies like Event Horizon, Solaris, Dead Space 1. It was a big success by horror game standards, and it was enough for EA to take notice. They wanted to capitalize on the surprise hit, so here comes Dead Space 2, bigger and better. They gave Visceral pretty much anything they needed to make the new game an all-around improvement, and they made sure the marketing was top-notch. They reportedly spent $60 million on both the development and marketing when adjusted for inflation. That puts it at a price tag of about $145 million. Now, it's been a long time since a new horror franchise managed to hit the same highs as Dead Space back in the late 2000s. Maybe the Callisto Protocol can carry the torch? 
Now we reach the top five. Destiny. Bungie's first project after leaving Halo behind in the dust, it was hyped. After developing the fantastic Halo trilogy and its prequel Halo Reach, gamers around the world were eager to see what they would do. When it was announced that the company had signed with Activision to do another large-scale sci-fi shooter that was not going to be an exclusive to one platform, here comes the hype train. Activision spared no expense with Destiny's launch. They poured millions of dollars into the project, and they wanted to make sure absolutely everybody in the world knew it was coming. When you adjust for inflation, it was estimated that Activision dropped $160 million on Destiny, even though the game itself didn't get the best reviews, it made that budget back in its first week of being on the market. So, uh, to them, it was a green check mark. At number four, Halo 2. Now, the original Halo helped put Xbox on the map. I still remember to this day pulling out my original Xbox the day I got it. I pre-ordered it six months early and playing Halo all night. I mean, Microsoft is forever in Bungie's debt for making it happen. The development of the original Halo was interesting. After it was a huge success, Microsoft knew they had to keep that train rolling with a sequel. Halo 2 was greenlit very quickly after the first game's launch, and Microsoft wanted to get it in the public's hands as quickly as possible, so they used any way they could to popularize their new Xbox Live service, which was struggling to get off the ground without a killer app. So Microsoft was pumping money into Halo 2's development and marketing it, and guess what? It paid off in the end. It ended up being one of the most popular games of the year, and it was widely responsible for popularizing online multiplayer on the consoles. According to records, Microsoft dropped $40 million on the game's development and $80 million on marketing and promos. Adjust that for inflation, Halo 2 ended up costing around $230 million, and it was worth every single penny. At number three, Modern Warfare 2 2009. Most of the games on this list had a pretty consistent split between development and marketing costs. The companies involved usually spend about double to triple the marketing costs on the development of the game, but Modern Warfare 2, we went the other way. Developed by IW, published by the bottomless pockets of Activision, Modern Warfare 2 was a smash hit before it even came out, and that was thanks to Activision making a pretty huge gamble here. The game itself was reportedly developed for 40 to 50 million, but the marketing budget was an absurd 200 million. Modern Warfare 2 stuff was absolutely everywhere in 2009. Billboards, TV spots, online ads, bus station posters, Mountain Dew tie-ins, you name it, and it was there. And I think it's safe to say that everybody was doing it. Activision's gamble obviously paid off because Modern Warfare 2 became one of the best-selling games of all time almost immediately upon release, but when it was all said and done, it looks like the publisher sunk approximately $316 million into the project. Now let's adjust that for inflation. And given the fact that Modern Warfare 2 grossed over $300 million on launch day... I think it's safe to say Activision made the right call with this marketing budget. At number two, Cyberpunk 2077. Now, I bought into the hype just like all of you. Developed by CD Projekt Red, it was a first-person open-world RPG set in a dystopian future where your mercenary character tried to learn more about the world they inhabit and the factions at play and had Keanu Reeves. Initially launched in 2020, perfect way to cap off that dumpster fire of a year, right? Due to it being blatantly broken and borderline unplayable. The game had to be pulled from sale on the Xbox and PlayStation platforms until it was patched up, while the Steam version had to sit with that overwhelmingly negative label attached to it, that big red dunce cap. Cyberpunk eventually redeemed itself after a year or so worth of updates, and it's actually a really good game now, but the amount of money CD Projekt Red sunk into it was insane. Now granted, it's a huge open world RPG, so naturally it's going to cost a lot, but the budget breakdown? Here we go. Reportedly had a development budget of $174 million and a marketing budget of over $140 million. Now, when adjusted with inflation, it's believed that CD Projekt Red sunk over $331 million into this game. That's a third of a billion, people. And you know what else? They actually made that money back before they fixed it. Yeah. Woo. That stings, doesn't it? And at number one today, Star Citizen. If you've been following this project, it should not shock you. It's here. If you haven't been following the project, you're probably a little confused as to why a game that isn't even out can be so expensive. Here's the short version. Star Citizen is an upcoming space MMO for the PC that began pre-production in 2010. You heard me right, 12 years ago has been delayed countless times while gobbling up more and more money from crowdfunding campaigns and third-party investors. The project has gotten so big that there are now a handful of legal issues regarding how much money has been contributed with absolutely nothing to show for it, but the developers Cloud Imperium Games insist it's coming out when it finally does launch, it's going to be the single biggest multiplayer game of all time, at least in terms of game size. The game was initially crowdfunded for $2 million. Since then, the developers have reportedly received another $400 million for the project, which makes it the single most expensive video game of all time, despite not being out. There's currently no set release date or estimated release window for Star Citizen, and people are starting to get annoyed at the lack of return on their investment. So, is this game coming? 
How much money is it going to absorb before getting in our hands? At this point, I think it's going to cross 600 million before we even get an open beta. Will it be worth the wait? I don't, I don't think so. I have no doubt that it'll be a good game, but unless it literally grabs our socks and throws them out the window, it's not going to live up to these insane expectations the developers have set. I mean, it's been in development for over a decade, and over 400 million has been sunk in. Do you really think the final project is going to reflect that? Call me cynical here. I don't think so. I mean, it will be good for sure. I just don't know if it's going to be 400 to 600 million in 10 plus years worth of work good. We'll see. There you go. Those are the most expensive games of all time. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.